In November last year, I found that cold showers were a thing due to a YouTube trend of dopamine detox that was going on. And on my first attempt, I procrastinated for two hours standing outside the shower because I would just touch the water. Oh, so cold. And then, yeah, that just went off for two hours. And when I finally got in, let's just say it felt like my dick and balls were rebelling against me because I was self-inflicting this torment. Since I took cold showers, the results have actually been pretty helpful because when I wake up during the day, I go in a shower, and that little shock kind of increases the oxygen uptake and increases your alertness. So whenever you go to school or you go to work, you won't need your cup of coffee as much. And for those who want to be like David Goggins, that's a great way to train your willpower and your discipline in the shower and see how long you can last. The second benefit of having cold showers is that your body actually gets to fight colds better. When you're in the shower, it kind of shocks your body and the immune cells are stimulated to fight off infections and diseases. And also it kind of stops circulating viruses going around. According to a study in the Netherlands, sorry, wrong one, better, 25% less people have caught off sick from either work or school. Now, this will translate to you having less annoying common colds when you take cold showers. And trust me, I know how annoying they can be, because during school, I can get through a whole box of tissues. Not with lotion, though, don't get me wrong. Cold showers are also a great post-recovery routine since they reduce muscle soreness, they also reduce the swelling and joints inflammation, and also they squeeze the lactic acid out by making blood vessels constrict. And after the cold shower, I am usually feel like my muscles are ready for another at least half a workout, whether it's at home or the gym, and my dick can suddenly lift 200 pounds. Oh wow, now you know about cold showers, everyone's gotta start sucking your dick when you start doing them. Well. Not quite, because it took me five full months of just shoving myself in there and then saying to myself, I love the cold showers, I love cold showers, I love cold showers. I actually did say that. Until I was able to relax and enjoy the cold temperature of it. See, most people will make the mistake of turning on the cold water instantly and then they end up just procrastinating outside the shower, just, you know, debating all the thoughts in their head. So the key thing about getting used to a cold shower is that when you turn on the hot water, you have to slowly inch your way to cold every time you take one. So for example, it's my first time, then I would only take the cold water to like, I don't know, probably three quarters and have a bit of hot water still on. But then probably by the 10th time, I would probably just chuck on full cold water. It's like progressively overloading, you know? So the reason why we do this is because our bodies or our minds aren't used to this kind of thing yet. And it's easier for our body to kind of just slowly adapt over time. No when I'm speaking about cold showers, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take cold showers. I'm just saying that cold showers can be utilized in different situations compared to hot showers. For example, when you take a cold shower, your aim is to get you ready, get you awake, and then maybe recover from a workout. But when you're taking hot showers, your aim is to kind of get relaxed, you know, get into bed and just doze off to sleep. Now you know about cold showers, you better take one today or I'm gonna go fuck your mom. Have a nice day. Shemmer on your, go till the bone. Shemmer on your, fire, will, shemmer on your.